YouTube suggested this video to me entitled Feeding a Roman Gladiator. What is that there? Some kind of gruel? Look at this gladiator on the left. Fat and flabby, right? Thought it was a funny video. It's nothing uh, earth shattering, groundbreaking. It's not anything any reasonable, logical, somewhat knowledgeable person couldn't figure out, right? But again, it was kind of funny. And it helped to confirm that, once again, all they do is lie. And obviously, I'm talking about vegans. Let's have a look-see. Of all the jobs in ancient Rome, Gladiator was probably one of the worst. Look at this dude, right? Vegans would have you believe that these gladiators were all body beautiful, right? Ripped and shredded. That's a fat man right there. Duh. Low life expectancy, you lived most of it in a cell, and you had... Right. So, if some of these gladiators were muscular and, and ripped and body beautiful, as they would have you believe, it's because, well... I guess they ate meat <laughs> and, you know, they, uh, they were soldiers or whatever the hell they may have been. They had active lifestyles. They, quote unquote, worked out, ate meat, and, you know, they looked how they looked. And then they got captured, uh, put in jail cells, fed shit, and they slowly deteriorated, right? If the life expectancy was what, how long before, how many, how many fights can you have before someone finally gets you right even if you win all of them you could get slashed up bleed out infected right their life expectancy was shit so why would you why would you invest all this money into feeding these guys the type of stuff that you yourself eat right expensive food or more expensive food just give them garbage they're not gonna live that long anyway right a pretty monotonous diet mostly a porridge or pulse of barley and beans so monotonous diet right so kind of the same stuff all the damn time so also nutritionally incomplete right thank you to hellofresh for sponsoring this video as we enter the Shout out. recent archaeological evidence shows that a gladiator's diet was mostly vegetarian at least on the day-to-day -day. and unfortunately there are no recipes left to us for a gladiator's meal but we can reconstruct one using the writings of galen galen who is one of the most famous physicians from the ancient world spent quite a bit of time stitching up gladiators and he hmm all right he wrote about their diet there is also much use made of fava beans. Our gladiators eat a great deal of this food every day, making the condition of their body fleshy, not compact, dense flesh like pork. <laughs> I mean, duh, right? If you want to build a house out of concrete, you should probably use cement, not mud, right? Pretty simple. If you want to build muscle, it probably makes sense to eat muscle. Why? Because everything that your muscle needs to grow, regenerate, is probably contained within, guess what? Muscle. Not beans. Muscle. Pork, but flesh that is somehow more flabby. Why do I feel a little... Right? So they were fat. <laughs> it doesn't matter... You know, Russell Crowe didn't eat that shit, right? It, it doesn't matter what romanticized um, idea we have of, of these dudes. They were a bunch of fat asses because they ate shit. And, you know, again, the newcomers probably still look good before they deteriorated. Attacked by that. Anyway, having that extra layer of flab might have actually been a good thing when your job entailed people stabbing at you. Because, you know, you could bleed a lot, give the people a spectacle, but you're not endangering your vital organs. Nothing to add there. Galen goes on to say that these beans made the gladiators unusually flatulent. <laughs> uh, I mean, 
that's about all I'm interested in. Um, listen up, vegans. Do whatever the hell, I mean, eat whatever the hell it is that you eat, that you want to eat, okay? But stop fucking lying. This shit's not even funny. It's so obviously transparent, corny, and I mean, whatever, man. The gladiator diet. Yeah. Okay. A bunch of fucking roid heads. Thanks for watching.